Hey guys, OmniWrath here, and I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at what we're doing with the new server. But on top of that, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the new server and why we've made some of the decisions that we've made uh, to make the best out of the new server. You can see the admins here hard at work on the spawn, and I'm going to be flying around looking at it and uh, talking a little bit as I go. Time 10. And I want to uh, butcher all the mobs because I want to hear them deal with them. So here's the new spawn. Uh, it's still massively in work, but this is uh, you guys can see it as I fly around here and just kind of take a peek. But I want to talk about uh, why uh, the, we're doing a few things on the server. I'm going to make the new server uh, whitelisted, and it's going to be available to donors only. The minimum donation to get on the server uh, currently sits at one dollar. And the reason for that is, is that with the old server, if you guys saw it any, um, it was getting DDoS attacked left and right. Stability was completely unreliable. Uh, just wasn't fun anymore. So we're going to a whitelist so that people have to actually donate or contribute to the server before they get access to the IP. That's going to make people a lot less likely to, to grief and, uh, and uh, DDoS the server or, or do any kind of negative actions because, especially like griefing, like if somebody's griefing on the server, having donated will not prevent me from banning them. I will still ban griefers, guys. And it makes it less likely for people who just want to DDoS the server for no real reason other than that just they can. Uh, then I'll make it so that uh, you know that they they have to pay to get to it, and that most of them probably aren't going to care enough to pay to do it. They'll go on to the next guy. Um, so yeah, and we're paying for a professionally hosted server here. The server is paid for by donors. So because it's paid for by donors, it's going to be donors only. And uh, you know, I think one dollar is a very reasonable price to get on a quality server. Um, if you have trouble getting one dollar, I know that everybody can't get a PayPal or a credit card. There's many options out there. Uh, we can ask you can ask about that in the chat. Uh, one of them is just prepaid Visa cards that you can usually get at your grocery store or something like that in most countries. Um, so yeah, guys, that's why we're moving to a, a whitelisted donor server just to protect the people that are on the server and who have invested a ton of time and in this case some money into it as well. And then uh, we're also going to, and I know this is highly controversial, we're going to get rid of condensers and tablets. And let me explain it before you get angry because I'm sad at loss too. But they're bad physically for the server and bad for the community. Uh, they're bad for the server because they allow you to chain, trade infinite amounts of one item for other items. So they don't encourage you to go out and explore the world they don't encourage you to go out and mine and build things. They encourage you to sit in a cave in a 9 by 9 room, okay, a little bigger, you know, a 20 by 20 room, and and do nothing. Wait for your your condenser to make you more items. And they do that by creating machines that spawn infinite items, be it cobblestone generators, uh, blaze rod macerators, dark rooms, uh, and, uh, creature uh, spawners, things like that, all of those cause lag on the server. They're not healthy for the server, and they're not healthy for the community because they allow you to get infinite items without actually playing the game. Anything that allows you to win the game without actually playing the game is not good. It's, it's not helpful. Um, but I do like the, the, the default effect of condensers and tablets, guys. Uh, there's, there is a way to keep that without ruining the server and without ruining in-game for, for the people that actually care about and want to play on the server for a good long time. Uh, Minecraft is one of those games where it's about the journey. It's not about beating the game. So when you're, when you're uh, you know, like shortening the, the journey, making it so that you beat the game by having all the best items faster than you, than you normally would be able to, then you're just decreasing the lifespan of the game. But how can we keep the uh, the general ability of condensers without um, without having all the negative side effects. The solution I've come up with thus far is to just have a a market 
uh, hosted and controlled by the server, or I mean myself personally, where um, you can trade items up into other items. You know, if you can trade diamonds into to coal, or diamonds into to red matter, or dark stone, or uh, you know, and anything in any of the commonly used uh, materials. I want people to be able to trade for those things. I think that's I think that's very reasonable to be able to trade for those things because. It's just, you know, you can go out and explore the world and find diamonds and, and all this uh, great stuff. But you shouldn't have to go farm, like, a hundred stacks of coal. That's, like, that's kind of hard when you have all just all these other supplies waiting around that you, you can't even make use of because you have so much of those. So I want to be able to trade those for things. And so we're going to set up a market, and you're going to use those items as a currency. The only thing that will never be usable as a currency is anything that can be spawned infinitely in, through, through different game mechanics. So, um, blaze rods, um, cobblestone, things like that, uh, you know, different drops from monsters that can be farmed infinitely, those will not be allowed to be used as a, cool, we got some music going on there, those will not be allowed to be used as currency in the market, guys. Um, well, player markets are still a little bit in the air, but I feel like, um, Player markets are, are still abusable uh, as well. If if we're gonna have if we're gonna have a, a system set up so that players can trade for items created by the server, then player markets have to be monitored a little bit as well. We may have to decide on one or the other. We'll see. I'm kind of like moving and fidgeting here. I don't know if that's bad for the video. But anyways, there's one last thing after I've explained that, and uh, and I hope you guys will understand and accept that. Uh, if you can't accept that, then this won't be the server for you because I won't change uh, those decisions in the foreseeable future. Uh, no matter how convenient they are, no matter how much I'm going to miss those features personally, uh, they're not healthy for the server or the community. So I have a question to you guys, uh, viewers uh, of, of the video, viewers on the stream, uh, everybody uh, who gets a chance to take a look at this. I want to reward people who are donating more than the bare minimum of $1. What is the best way to do that? Uh, I'm open to ideas. I want to be able to maybe give people, you know, either like cool features on the server or things like that. But there's two things that will never be an option. You'll never be pay to win. You're never going to pay for like advanced technology items that are otherwise uh, unavailable to other players uh, or that are like hard to get. I mean, it's never going to be pay to win and it's never going to be pay to admin. Uh, admin are chosen based on their integrity, their knowledge of the game, and, and you know moderation and admin commands, and just all around being an awesome person. Uh, so you will not be able to buy an admin slot by donating, and you will not be able to buy items that give you an advantage over other players. So with that in mind, what other features can I give to players to really reward and make it make it cool, like a cool thing, like to show that hey, like I donated twenty dollars. I got this awesome hat or something like what what's a, what's a cool reward for that guys or access to cool commands that don't that aren't game breaking but just reward people a little more uh, maybe um, maybe like reducing the cooldown on their on their teleport things like that things that aren't game breaking things that don't give them a huge advantage but are just kind of nice little um, conveniences or like hey look at me I look cooler now so give me your feedback give me your thoughts on that guys and let me know uh, what you think. Uh, other than that, uh, the new server is going to be great. Uh, I think the professional hosting is going to be a big hit uh, with stability. I think it's going to be awesome. And I know that we're working hard to make the, the spawn and everything else just feel wonderful. Uh, I will open it up to donors as soon as we're ready. Hopefully today, maybe tomorrow at the latest. We'll see. It's got a lot of work that we want to do to make it just as awesome as can be when you, when you first own into the game. Uh, but yeah, I hope to see you all soon. And uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Bye.